Hello, and welcome back to the Book Fox Summaries bringing literature to life one summary at the time. Can't tackle that TBR pile? Don't have time to read? We've got you covered. So grab a kappa, get comfy, and join us on this incredible journey through the world of literature. Today we're diving into a classic that's both chilling and thought-provoking. George Orwell's 1984 with a big question, is Big Brother still watching us today? Imagine a world where even your thoughts are not your own. This is the chilling reality of George Orwell's 1984. Published in 1949, this dystopian novel paints a stark picture of Oceania, a society ruled by Big Brother. Through the eyes of Winston Smith, a low-ranking party member, we are plunged into a world of perpetual surveillance and psychological manipulation. The party maintains its grip on power through an intricate web of surveillance, propaganda, and fear. Telescreens monitor citizens' every move, while thought police punish even a flicker of dissent. Language itself is weaponized with newspeak, designed to limit thought and make rebellion impossible. Winston dares to rebel, clinging to his humanity and seeking solace in a forbidden love affair with Julia. Their rebellion, though ultimately crushed, serves as a testament to the enduring human spirit. 1984 is a stark reminder of the fragility of freedom and the need for vigilance against tyranny. Power in 1984 is not a means to an end, it is the end itself. The party led by Big Brother seeks absolute control over every aspect of human existence. This power is wielded with an iron fist, crushing any form of dissent or individuality. Central to the party's grip on power is the systematic use of fear. Citizens are bombarded with propaganda, instilling a perpetual state of anxiety and paranoia. The thought police create an atmosphere of suffocating fear, paralyzing any potential for resistance. By controlling the narrative of the past, the party justifies its actions in the present and shapes perceptions of the future. The creation of Newspeak exemplifies the party's insidious control over information. Orwell's depiction of power serves as a chilling warning against unchecked authority and totalitarianism. In 1984, privacy is a relic of a forgotten past. The party maintains its power through an omnipresent surveillance network. Telescreens monitor citizens' every move and sound, constantly reminding them they are being watched. This constant surveillance discourages any form of dissent or individuality. The thought police root out and punish even the slightest hint of unorthodox thought. Children are indoctrinated to become spies, reporting on their parents and peers. This culture of suspicion and mistrust erodes any sense of privacy or personal freedom. The party's control extends into the minds of its citizens through the manipulation of language and thought. They create Newspeak, a language engineered to restrict thought and eliminate rebellion. By shrinking the vocabulary, the party effectively shrinks the capacity for independent thought. The Ministry of Truth constantly rewrites the past to align with the party's current agenda. This manipulation creates disorientation, making it impossible for citizens to trust their own memories. By controlling the tools of thought the party ensures its citizens cannot conceive of rebellion. This manipulation of language serves as a stark warning about the power of words and the importance of safeguarding freedom of expression. In Oceania, conformity is demanded. The party seeks to eliminate individuality, reducing citizens to faceless drones. The pressure to conform is relentless, enforced through surveillance, propaganda, and social pressure. Citizens are bombarded with messages reinforcing the party's ideology. Social interactions are controlled, with genuine human connection viewed with suspicion. The party promotes organizations like the Junior Anti-Sex League, discouraging love and relationships. The crushing weight of conformity serves as a chilling reminder of the importance of individuality and the dangers of unquestioning obedience. In 1984, freedom is meticulously redefined and controlled. The party creates an illusion of freedom, giving the appearance of choice while maintaining control. Citizens are granted limited freedoms within the confines of the party's ideology. The two minutes hate provides an illusion of catharsis while strengthening the party's grip on power. Doublethink allows citizens to accept the party's contradictions, blurring the lines between truth and falsehood. The illusion of freedom serves as a reminder that true freedom requires internal autonomy. Orwell's dystopia warns against complacency and the importance of critical thinking. Despite the fear and oppression in 1984, the human spirit flickers with rebellion. Winston Smith embodies this spirit of resistance, longing for truth and freedom. 
his rebellion begins with small acts of defiance like keeping a secret diary. As his rebellion grows, Winston finds solace in a forbidden love affair with Julia. Their rebellion is ultimately crushed by the party's ruthless machinery. Despite its tragic end, their struggle serves as a testament to the enduring human spirit. Their story reminds us that even in the darkest times, hope can flicker, and the fight for freedom is worth waging. Published in 1949, 1984 has become an eerily prescient commentary on the digital age. Orwell's depiction of a society grappling with surveillance and propaganda resonates with chilling familiarity today. Surveillance technologies now permeate our daily lives, raising concerns about privacy and potential abuse. The internet has become a breeding ground for propaganda and misinformation. Social media creates echo chambers, making it difficult to discern truth from falsehood. Orwell's vision serves as a stark warning for the digital age. 1984 reminds us of the importance of safeguarding our privacy and critically evaluating information. 1984 stands as a chilling reminder of the fragility of freedom. It urges us to recognize and resist the insidious creep of tyranny. In an age of increasing surveillance, we must protect our privacy and digital rights. We must demand transparency and accountability from those who collect our data. Education and media literacy are crucial in the fight against manipulation. Safeguarding freedom requires active participation in the political process. 1984 is a call to action, urging us to remain vigilant and safeguard our freedoms. Before we go, we ask for your help. Please subscribe to our channel. With your subscription, you are encouraging us to create more summaries. Feel free for any comments or recommendations. They are welcome. Hit the like button, share with friends, and turn on notifications to stay in the loop.